Do you want to know how to install your Facebook Pixel? Really simple, super quick, no BS. Okay, let's go. Hey everyone, my name is Lewis Mudridge and today we're going to talk about how to install and set up a Facebook Pixel in under three minutes. So before I jump into that, just in case, just, just on the off chance, you have no idea what a Facebook Pixel is. Basically, it's a custom algorithm for tracking visitors and custom events, typically for retargeting people and performance tracking purposes such as tracking sales. So someone is on Facebook, they go to your site and they're already logged in on Facebook. Now if you have a pixel installed, you can send that data back to your Facebook ads account so you can retarget them with ads later. So just show ads to people who have seen certain pages or visit your site. And if you're running ads with Facebook, they make a purchase through Facebook ads, that sale gets attributed back to Facebook. So now you can track your sales accordingly. Very basic, valuable stuff. So now my video editor, Jake, great guy, is gonna put a timer on the screen in three, two, one. So the first thing you do is visit your ads manager inside of Facebook. I'll include all the links, by the way, in the description of this video, so feel free to check them out. Once you're inside the ads manager, you're gonna go ahead and click on business tools and then click on events manager. Once you click on that and you've never set up a pixel before, you should see something like this. This is the new way to do it. Here's the old way how to do it, but let's focus on the new way. So go ahead and click connect data source. Once you've done that, go ahead and click web if you're setting this up for a website. After which you're gonna go ahead and click the Facebook pixel right here, big one right there, it's hard to miss. And we're gonna go ahead and click connect. So now you can name your pixel and put in your website domain name. Once you've done that, go ahead and click continue. And here's the easy part. If you're using Shopify, Squarespace, or any of these kind of partner integrations, Facebook actually has custom setup options for each one of these to make it really easy. And all you have to do is copy the code. In this case, I'm using WordPress. So let's see what happens. Now you can use Google Tag Manager. I'm gonna just use WordPress. You don't have to select any of this stuff. You don't really need the advanced matching unless you really want it. Um, and then just go by the step-by-step -step process right here. So you can download the Pixel extension and you can set up using the Pixel extension. It's really easy. It gives you a step-by-step. -step. So once you have that plug, you just go in and drag it right into here and upload that file. And activate plugin, click on settings, and then there's your Pixel ID all set up for you. It should be populated by default. If not, you can copy it from Facebook and save changes. Cool, now we're just gonna go through this settings. I just did everything for you. It tells you exactly what I just showed you. Uh, blah, 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 going on and on and on, cool. And now it's gonna verify if your pixel's working. So you're gonna put in your website and send test traffic. Sending traffic, it's just gonna open up a page, load your site, and then now what you need also, just for future reference, install the Facebook Pixel Helper Chrome extension where you can just click on the extension, that's Tag Assistant, click on the extension, and it'll tell you if the site has a pixel installed or not. You can see my pixel right here, and yeah, that's, that's basically it. There's nothing else to it. So it's gonna basically say no activity yet. Sometimes it does that. Just give it a refresh, and then you'll see that everything is fully set up. So mine's not working because I already have a pixel installed on my site from my other ad account, so I'm gonna get this, but yours won't look like this. So let's set up our first event. If you don't wanna use Facebook's plugin, you can actually use other plugins. I like Pixel Caffeine, Insert Headers and Footers, and Pixel Cat. These are all great plugins that still do the same exact thing. So now you have your pixel installed, good job. You're gonna to wanna to track your events. Your events are a conversion. So every time someone becomes a customer, becomes a lead, so on and so forth. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to add events. We're gonna click on this. If you wanna do a custom conversion, by the way, you can also do it through create and click custom conversion. So let's add event. I'm gonna do install code manually, or you can use a partner integration. This is actually a lot easier if you're using Shopify or something like that. But what I like to do is use the event setup tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the code and then click continue, continue, and you can click launch event setup tool. And this allows you to set up the event manually by going through your own funnel on your site. So I'm gonna go to open website. So you'll see on your site, now you have a Facebook event setup tool. And this is a handy little tool where you can go through your own funnels on your site, make a purchase, become a lead, whatever it is. And while you're doing that, you can actually track that URL or track that thank you page or track a button click to be an event back to Facebook. And you can see here, I'm on a thank you page where I'm tracking this URL. So it sends it back to Facebook. That's how you track your events and set them up. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. Again, all the links I talked about, the plugins, all the stuff, just check the description. It's all gonna be there for you. And I didn't wanna go too in depth on per platform of how to do it because Facebook does a really great job of making that super easy for you, especially if you're using one of their partner integrations. Or if you have some kind of custom website that you can just use something like Google Tag Manager to install it. But thanks for watching. If you like this video, if it was any good at all, please leave a like on the video. Please comment what you wanna see next. This is really supposed to be really basic and a refresher or even just someone who just doesn't know what a Facebook pixel is and how to install it. Uh, but thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.